Right now, the car company has 30 new and used vehicles for under $13,000, 20 for under $9,900, and 15 for less than $6,900. The car company is your home for guaranteed credit approval and the lowest price guarantee. So come see us today. The car company, great cars and great prices. Lake City TV, local, dependable, on demand. Indiana State Police are providing tips for drivers who may be facing flooded roadways today. They say you should never drive around barricades at water crossings and do not enter flowing water. Driving fast through high water on the road is not a solution. Driving through standing water may affect your brakes. Test your brakes at low speeds as soon as you exit the water. And remember that six inches of water will reach the bottoms of most car doors. One foot of water will float many vehicles and two feet of water can carry away most vehicles. Be especially vigilant at night because many drowning deaths occur at night when it's difficult to see water crossings. An assistant boys soccer coach at Wawasee High School is accused of having sex with an underage girl. According to the prosecutor's office, 20-year-old Josh Secor was arrested and charged with sexual misconduct with a minor after he was seen having sex with a 14-year-old girl in a pickup truck in front of a residence earlier this month. The resident called school officials who then called Syracuse police. Several organizations are joining forces in an effort to upgrade U.S. 30 to interstate status. OrthoWorks, the Corporate Partnership for Economic Growth, and the Northeast Indiana Regional Partnership announced an agreement on Wednesday for a joint effort to bring leaders together to create interstate-only access to U.S. 30 from Valparaiso to Fort Wayne. The group is hoping to make U.S. 30 better and safer for existing and new businesses and residents. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, rain pretty much all day today and windy. Gusts could reach 25 miles per hour, a high in the middle 60s today. Cooler tomorrow, middle 50s for the high, right around 50 on Saturday. Some trick-or-treat times are changing because of the weather. Akron, Argus, Bourbon, Etna Green, Silver Lake, Pearson, Leesburg, Warsaw, and Winona Lake will now celebrate Halloween on Friday. Meanwhile, the state is requiring paroled sex offenders to adhere to restrictions during trick-or-treat hours for the communities they live in. The Indiana Department of Corrections says Operation Safe Halloween helps ensure that Halloween will be safer for children across the state. The program requires sex offenders to attend a mandatory meeting, turn in safety plans for this evening, and remain at home and not pass out candy. From Lake City TV, I'm Terry Armstrong. Have a great afternoon and a happy Halloween.